Hello and welcome to Red Stapler channel. In this episode, we'll show you the quick and easiest way to create CSS parallax effect with pure CSS from scratch in just a few minutes. Ready? Let's check it out. So first, let's prepare the page we are going to work on. There will be two sections on this page and I will create div for each and also create child div for a text caption. As for CSS, set the width to 100% and minimum height to 100% of the viewport. And position to relative. Also change the background color of the section too. For the text, I will set the top and left to place the text around the center of each section. I will use viewport font size unit, so the text could auto resize. Also add some text shadow for aesthetic. To make the font look leaner, I will use transform scale and scale only the y axis. Also add translate to move the text to the center. And our simple two section page is ready. Let's work on adding parallax effect. The concept of the parallax is simple. The object closer to the eye will look like it moves faster than the one in distance. We can recreate this easily in CSS using 3D transform. So first, let's set the perspective of the body to one pixel and transform style preserves 3D to both sections. Next, we'll be adding this image as background on the first section. However, instead of setting background to the section div directly, we'll use the pseudo element instead. We'll set the width and height to 100% with absolute position. And set the background as usual. Next one is the most interesting part. We will add transform translate Z and push the background away from the viewport to create parallax effect. But since the background is now farther away, it will become smaller so we will need to compensate it by scaling it up. I will also add some blur effect to create depth of field effect. The next important thing we need to do is to lock the viewport and force all the scrolling to occur on the body instead. We can do this by adding overflow hidden to the HTML and set overflow X to hidden and overflow Y to scroll on body. Looks good. We can now see the parallax effect. Some of you might okay at the result at this point, but let's add a little bit of decoration. First, I will use Photoshop to extract the corn field and create a separate image. Then add another pseudo element to the first section, but this time I'm not adding any transform. As for the text, I will move it up a little bit And add translate Z to push it backward only half pixel to create another layer of parallax effect. Then compensate it with scale and center it with translate X and Y as usual. And that's all for this tutorial, you can download the code below. 
If you love it, please like and subscribe our channel to stay tuned for more update. Thanks for watching. See you next episode. Bye.